Hey guys, welcome back to another how-to. And today we're gonna to be learning how to use this APX E-Rig by Pulsar. So stay tuned. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is fully charged if you're watching this as you took it straight out of the box. If you wanna check the battery life, there's a light indicator in the back next to the charging port. You can activate that by just clicking the power button once and it'll light up and tell you how much battery life you have. All right, let's start with the assembly. It's a little bit tricky to get the mouthpiece and the base in. It's a very tight fit, so be very careful. Take your time when you're putting these pieces together. You don't wanna break it the first time it comes out of the box. Make sure you have a good grip on these pieces and don't push the glass piece on by going straight down. Do it at an angle, makes it much easier. We're gonna go ahead and screw in the atomizer and then protect your hands with the glass cylinder because it gets very hot. This unit comes with two turp pearls, but you really only need to use one for your sashes. Okay, let's go ahead and add the water. This unit does come with a sticker on the base to tell you how much water you need, but I've removed mine because I don't need to keep that. To turn the unit on, it's five clicks on, five clicks off. We have five temperature settings here to choose from. I will go ahead and put the temperatures on screen as we click through. Drop your dab in the atomizer chamber shown here. And if you're new to dabbing, make sure it's not bigger than a grain of rice. Double click to activate sesh mode, which begins a pulsating light that fades between colors as the atomizer heats. Once it reaches temperature, the color will turn solid and you will feel some haptic feedback to let you know it's ready. If you're in the middle of your sesh and you realize that you made it too hot or it's not hot enough, you can cycle through the heat settings by just clicking once. If you need to stop your sesh, you can do so by clicking five times. I almost forgot to mention this really awesome feature that you don't see on other devices is this pivoting manifold. It's really awesome because it lets you kick back and relax and sesh without having to worry about your product flowing all to one side and not getting a good sesh out of it. It's a really awesome feature. Well, there you have it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at cloudcatstash. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. <laughs> Bye.